Well, as you can see, uh, I'm not the only one that had this idea today. It's that time of year again. The king tides are back. So, uh, do a little walk down to uh, Todd Inlet to see what uh, the tides are like down here today. Apparently, this is Thursday the 7th of December, and the high tide today is at 1245, so we got a little while to get down there and uh, we'll see what the extreme tides are like. Well it sounds like the creek is gushing pretty good today too so let's go have a quick look at that too we have time. Well the last time I was down here we just had a trickle of water coming down but we've had some good days of rain lately and uh, lots of water in the creek today. Well, the reason behind king tides is quite interesting, actually. You've got the moon, the sun, and the earth all lined up. So that causes a gravity pull that uh, creates the king tides, the super high tides. Plus, all the rain we've had is flowing down the rivers in the low-lying areas. The actual the seawater starts coming back up the rivers and works sort of like a dam. And... Uh, the water goes off to the sides because uh, it just gets too high and floods all the lowlands, which is happening big time right now down in Washington State. So uh, I imagine it's doing it on the island here too in places. But I know I saw on the news last night there were miles of farmland that was underwater and uh, they were being affected by the king tides too. And also all the heavy rain we've had over the last week or so. so. Yeah, so it's a combination of a lot of things. And it's just the perfect storm for high water. So last year I came down and had a look, and I've never seen the water so high. So I'm kind of interested to see what it's like today. So let's uh, wander on down. We still got about 20 minutes till high tide, so we got lots of time to get down there. So we'll poke along. It's just beautiful in here today. Oh, I wish you could smell this. Fantastic. We got a lot of people in here right now. I see another big group coming up right now. So uh, we'll just carry on and, ooh, lots of dogs too. All right, carry on. Don't watch my step.
Now this is usually just a little bit of a creek coming through here because we're right down at the beginning of Todd Inlet here. That's looking out into the inlet. You can see how swollen the creek is. Now four minutes to high tide. We're almost there. I think we'll make it. I believe it stays high for an hour before it starts to go back out again. Yeah, I don't think it's going very far tonight, so it's gonna be a high one for the whole day. I think it drops three feet. It's not very much. <laughs> Yeah, the tide's high, but it's not as high as it was last year. I'll show you a picture. I'll find one of my archives and show you a picture from last year. Yeah, that ramp's definitely going in the wrong direction. Usually you have to walk down it. Too bad we're in a park. That'd be perfect. Yeah, I just, uh, one of my favorite spots down here is to come out on this point and have a gander around at everything. It's just beautiful. What a great place for a picnic too, you know? Yeah, pretty hard to beat this. My favorite's over here though, looking up this way. It almost reminds me of being on a lake when you come up through here. The inlet's usually very, very calm. But this gives you quite a view, especially in the summertime when all the boats are parked out here. Just incredible. What a nice sandy beach. Eh, makes me feel like I'm on Baywatch. Oh, now I'm tired. <laughs> Why do I do things like that? I think it's time to start heading out of here. Oh, one thing to look for if you ever come down the Tide Inlet, it's a good idea to come over here to where they have this signpost over here. I'll show you. If there's anything you should know about, such as bears or cougar alerts or anything, they staple something to here. So if you see something there, just make sure you read it before you come down. Okay. There's still a few people around, but they're starting to leave. Mrs. C? Come on, nice to see you here. How are you? I'm pretty good for an old lady. Oh, that's good. You know? 
hanging in, hanging out. So you walked over from home. No, I brought the car. <laughs> so uh, you got the rest of your lights up. We got some more up, yeah. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, that's more, I think that's a bit for the year. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Eh? Oh yeah, well I looked out, you know, they're the first one I see in the morning when I look out. <laughs> and they, was so much juniper on there. I mean, you need spend thousands of dollars to cover all that. <laughs> yeah. Counts us out. Which I'm not going to We're do. just poor old pensioners. Yeah, that's right. Well, it's always an enjoyable walk. I'm gonna head home now. I had an early lunch, so I'm good there. So I'll uh, get right to editing. That lady there was a neighbor of ours for I think 38 years now. Starting to get used to me. Okay, almost back up to the Walking with Bruce Mobile. I'm gonna wander home and get this ready for uh, Saturday. <laughs> All right, get out there, enjoy these places. Stay safe, and we'll talk and walk again real soon. Bye for now.